Live from the Cactus Creek at Ibri, he is the king of prime time, Ghana's undisputed entertainment laureate, and still the youngest old man in Ghana. Put your hands together, show some love for the indefatigable KSM. The KSM Show. Thank you. Thank you. We have a great day. We have a great day today, man. And my guest, you know, let me tell you something I like most so far about this show, you know, is that people, when I started the show, near and on crow, like my own director here. Show some love. Mr. Ati Show near and won. When you are Baba, a director of the show, shows, I like that. I like that. And, uh, I'm just using that as an introduction because the next guest is now currently a great, up and coming, brilliant in international star. You know, actually, VGMA awarded her the best international collaboration manager. Give it up now. <laughs> Not only that, Apple Music, Apple Music International has described her as an African rising star. Ow! <laughs> Give it up, man. <laughs> and if you, if you go on YouTube, YouTube is describing her as one of the best African black voices coming through the year 2023, man. Ah! And, and, and this great person, Mr. Tishonia Nguno, <laughs> but she has now become so big that she has earned herself a seat on my show. Ladies and gentlemen, let me shut up now. Put your hands together. Welcome the great Jackie. <laughs> Hey. Welcome, 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 Thank welcome. Thank Pleasure. You so much. Thank and that's you your so seat, man. Thank you. Show us some love, man. <laughs> the full name is Jacqueline Echampo, but we call it Jackie. Show up his name. Yes. Stick around. When I come back from the commercial break, Jackie in the house. We'll be right back. KSM Show. Hey, what? Go left, left. Come, come. Straight, straight, straight. Push up. Uh -huh. Hey, yo, hey, hey. Oh, oh, sorry, madam. I know, I know, see him. You, you, you kept asking me to come back. You can't control what will happen, but you can control how you respond to what happens when it happens. Welcome to SIC Insurance. At SIC Insurance, we are always ready to come to your aid when the unfortunate happens. Call us today for your motor, accident, fire, burglary, travel insurances and more. Or visit our website or any of our branches nationwide. SIC, our promises are sacred. Season's greetings from SIC. Pinyin to Pinyin. They have this new enhanced home price insurance policy that when you insure your building, it's not only the building, if anything happens, even the contents of your building are covered. Your furniture, TV, anything inside the building can be covered. So talk to them and find out more about this enhanced home plus insurance policy, okay? They also have this health policy issue if you are going through any kidney problems or heart problems, stroke, all these issues, the home plus insurance policy takes care of all of these things. So make sure you call them. 055-544-1485. Okay guys, we have two big days coming up at the Cactus Creek. Two big Christmas days. The 24th, I told you we have a candlelight dinner. Come with your friends, your family, and enjoy a wonderful sumptuous dinner at the Cactus Creek. Only 200 Ghana CDs. That's on the 24th. On the 25th, Eman Kwan. We have an all female band. Band na Eman Kwan, not those of you who are coming. Everybody is welcome to hang out with Dilla Hayes and the all female band on Christmas Day at the Cactus Creek and have a lunch buffet with that. And the lunch buffet costs 250 Ghana CDs. And for both nights, please make sure you call and reserve. And for the reservation number, please call 055 039 
5007. Get that reservation. Cactus Creek. It is no longer Ghana's best kept secret. It's an open secret. So serene, so heavenly. And the meals? Mm, mm, mm. Just like home cooking. Cactus Creek. Your soul will thank you. you are Call our WhatsApp 055 039 Pulse Fitness Center, the premier destination for fitness in Ghana. Meet the indefatigable captain. There are three things that I love doing. Number one, workout. Number two, workout. Number three, workout. Workout put mind, soul, and body together. The captain has spoken. Bright lights, yeah, they make me dizzy, logo liggy. I just want the lizzy. It's a logo liggy. Uptown chasing for the lizzy. Downtown, everybody busy, logo liggy. Life be logo liggy. I just want the Paul's Fitness Center. Yeah. East Ligon Branch, Lizzie Sports Complex, I Cotton really Street, East Ligon, Accra, Ghana, 0302-519-675, Kumasi Branches, Officers oh. Mess Branch, Denyame, Major Kobina Drive, Kumasi, 0541-871-602, Golden Tulip, Kumasi City Branch, Rain Tree Street, 0322-492-647, Pulse, the premier destination for fitness in Ghana. Say what lie we for around town. Azipa Essentials has good news for you. If you're in Takradi and its environs, don't worry. You can pick up Azipa Essentials jacket at Ruler Unisex Boutique in Anaji, Takradi, Queen of Peace in Taco Full Road. Call or WhatsApp 0544 ASN show. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Like I said at the beginning, it's a pleasure to write with. I like interviewing young ones who have grown up and they're doing absolutely fantastic. And this guest of mine is one of them. Show some love. She's right here. Jackie! Jackie, welcome to the show! Thank you! Wow! Yeah. You know, I know your dad. You see, soon, back in the day, hey, the next shampoo, that's your dad, eh? Yes, that's my wow. dad. Wow. That's my dad. When we were growing up, he, he was the issue. The champion. Nene, he was the champion, champion lover. Lumba and yes, the, yes. Yes, yes. And you have grown up and you are also now an ish. Or an ish or the ish. That's also yeah. another good one. Well, congratulations. Thank you so much. Let, let, let me go just a little bit way, rewind a little bit. Mm. How did you feel growing up in the shadow? Did you always want to be a singer like him? When did he start influencing you? When did you... Think of getting to music. Before I record, I released my first song, Love is Pretty, so way back, I didn't have plans on being an artist. I didn't have plans of doing this as a profession. Mm. Do you get it? So I was just happy around my what my dad was doing. Okay. I was always interested in entertainment, interested in anything that has to do with music, poetry, drama. I mm. just wanted, you always see my big head everywhere. Really? around entertainment until I got to the university. So I would say my dad actually made me fall in love with music. Oh, he made I, you fall in love with music? Yes, yeah. yes, because every time he's always playing music around and all that. So I started getting fond of it until I got to the university. Um, I graduated from KN University in Kumasi. And I met a producer on campus through a friend. He was a mutual friend. So my friend was like, oh, this is the guy, he's called Sosa, big shouts to Sosa as well. So my friend was like, this is Sosa, he's a producer, um, both of you can do something. I hadn't recorded any professional music, I'd only recorded a song when I was about six or seven. Six or seven? Yeah, I, in my dad's studio, and that was just it. So 
he sent me the beads and to be very honest at that point that was the first time i actually realized i could even write music i have never aside the what i wrote when i was a child mm. i've not tried to write music so he sends the beat i listened to it and the lyrics just started to flow easily then i went to his hostel the next day on campus we recorded it even that day i had like a little mm. back and forth with my, my mom because my curfew time was up mm -hmm. and i was in the studio mm -hmm. <laughs> recording. recording yeah so and um, we did that song love is pretty i was so excited and eager for the song to come out but during that period too i met my manager and he mentioned how we had to take time for the song to come out the song came out to be very honest i wasn't confident in myself way back mm -hmm. so i didn't see the song doing anything like big mm. i just really? sorry mm -hmm. to interrupt you mm. what 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 had he seen in you then that that gave him the what do i the, the, the conviction that you could do some music so i texted my manager on twitter i was sending um a snippet of a video no actually the song had come out and mm. then i was sending it to people like kindly retweet please post the song this and that so i sent it to him because he is also very influential in the industry and he was someone i used to watch on tv mm -hmm. yes yeah, so i texted him as well sent him the song and then he was like this song is really really good what's your name and every information he needed to know so that was literally where it started from he just loved the song mm. from the get-go and that was just how it all started mm. so the song came out it was doing very good on campus and then i realized that okay this is doing more than i expected okay. so many people now wanted to hear a second song from me and that was when my my breakthrough song in ghana never like this came out and now everybody in the industry was looking for who is this jackie who sang this heartbreak song wow all of that and my name started picking up a little bit dropped a, lo a couple more singles dropped my ep um cdp which had forever on and then that is where my biggest breakthrough started from in the industry. Wow, 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 wow. <laughs> what, 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 what did you study at KNUSD? I studied international business. So international business? Yes, please. And all this time, where was the music hiding? Were you doing that and doing the music at the same time? Yes, so um, that was actually one of my crucial moments in music because when i was in my second third year that was when forever started picking up mm. and so i was always my attention was always divided it was very difficult for me because it got to a point i almost would have dropped out of school because you know when it comes to music or entertainment or any other thing you start falling in love with so much you tend to put your all in it mm -hmm. so mm -hmm. i started getting interested in the music more than school now mm. and so I, I realized i was starting to lose focus in class i'll come back to school and Did then that affect your grades and the performance or you're at keeping point, the move at yes, some point at, at some point so i had to i think when i was getting to my final year i now had to pause coming to accra because every time i had to come from kumasi to accra to come and either do a show interviews so i just had to put it on hold and then i had some of the good students in my class were my friends, so they come to my house over the weekend and then run me through all the what? plenty things that I missed. And then you class. study at home? Yes, so I, had, I was studying. Because another thing too was, at first, if I could ask a question in class, now I can't do it mm -hmm. anymore. Mm -hmm. So you have to learn it by fire, by force. Because <laughs> your fan could be peeping your, picture, your paper from the corner and see that, Jackie, you're not writing anything in this, your, your booklet. So mm. I had to like do more so i had to force myself to study and then catch up with everything so at home though how were your parents going through all of this did they know that you're torn between music and your school work or yes. did they see that your school work was suffering and what was the reaction yes they realized so my mom was always keen one th so one of the reasons why i just couldn't even think about dropping out of school was if you are dropping out then you're not going back home because you're not coming back home. There's no way. So we drop off an hour. No, we'll there's no way you are going to get <laughs> drop out at home. So um, I just knew that they were realizing that, okay, maybe this entire week, wait, I just realized you haven't been to class. Like, what's happening? Maybe they will also realize I'm mentioning more of studio than class. And then she sat me, my mom sat me down, and then, you know, spoke to me. 
the music is there for a very long time, but this program you are doing is, you know, it's just for four years. So why don't you just so concentrate it? on the four yes, years? Why don't you just finish it hard and then do what? There's no time limit to doing music, and, and that kind of not even kind of that made sense. Mm. So much sense. Also because I was about to go to my final year, so why go through all the toil, first, second, third year, and then and the then final year you want to now like mm -hmm. you know, so I had to finish school and it must I must say that's one of like my proud moments that I actually was able to graduate school. Show some love man <laughs> and, and I'm very very happy you're saying this you know because most of the time when I go on tours around schools that's one of the biggest complaints you know okay mm. so this is what I really want to do but my parents say this and that and this and that so I'm glad that your mom told you listen you have this this window four yeah. years Focus on that and, yeah. and complete it because the music is always there, always you know. There. And that's what I tell them, that yeah. your talent will, is there, always there. Mm -hmm. It has nowhere to go. Wow. So you finished that and then went back to the music? Yes, by God's grace. And then now I was just happy that I can now pay attention fully to music. Music. Yes. And God being so good, every step of the way is always like big, better, is always mm, bright. Mm. And... Wow. Jackie, tell me a little bit about your creative process, like yeah. uh, getting the vision of the best international collaboration. How did you end up with, uh, what is the name, the Nigerian guy? Um, Omale. Um, yeah. yeah. How did you guys link up? Huh? Give me a little bit of a background into that. Okay, so let me take you like way back to the Seed EP. So the Seed EP was the first, EP is an extended play, that's the first project I dropped. Um, that had the song Forever On, mm -hmm. so... Um, the song came out with the project and it was a, it, it didn't have any collaboration on the EP. So when it came out, the song, the songs on the project were doing very good, but Forever was standing out. Mm. So Forever started doing well in Ghana. And then it was also doing well in Nigeria, especially mm. in other mm. countries, but Nigeria was the, the biggest penetration. And so already he had, he had heard the song. He knows about the song also because Aside the fact that the song was good, we actually put in a lot of work mm. in pushing the song mm. to to reach like countries outside Ghana. Mm. So Omale was interested in the song already, but I didn't know that. So my team reached out to his team about the song, and he even made a tweet later on that he had already written a verse to the song before. A verse. Yes, sometimes artists do that. Maybe I would hear a song from mm -hmm. another artist, and mm -hmm. I'll just play around it, you, even if you're not going to drop it, but you just write okay. a verse because you love it so much so he mentioned that oh he had already written the verse so it made everything quite easy because mm. he was personally in love with the song so it made everything easy he sent the verse over and then i went to nigeria to do media tour to promote the the project, the seed EP. And then we took advantage of me being there. We shot the music video as well for the remix. And then the the original song and the remix were both good. Really good. <laughs> wow. Wow. Let, you know, for, for an artist in Ghana who have started and then you realize that this Nigerian artist is even creating a, a verse from your music, how did that feel? And when you heard it, what, what went through your mind? What was the whole feeling like? Yeah, I was very happy and I must say I was very proud. Mm. Um, from that stage of my career, I started understanding, understanding this whole reaping what you sow. Because mm. to be honest, everything that's on the outside is looking good. I know people say that a lot, but I'm saying it from an honest opinion that I have actually, myself and my team, we've actually gone through the, the sweat mm. to every step that you have to go through as an up and coming artist. I actually went through all of that. And so when um, Forever was picking up, started charting in Nigeria, I had to go there. That was my first time in in Niger Nigeria mm. to do promotions on the project and that was just me seeing I, it's like me seeing the big door to greatness yeah. opening up yeah do you get it so like it opening up for me to now start working hard for bigger things so I I was I was just seeing that okay Jackie the journey has actually started for you because mm. this was actually a big big deal for me wow mm -hmm. show some love man <laughs> 
this, this, this is what I find interesting. You keep talking about the team. Mm. And I think I interviewed one of your young artists. I don't remember the name right away. Mm. But he also made the, he also came out clearly that he has a, he called it a machine. He said yes. there's a whole machinery behind yeah. it. What, when, did you, when did you put together a team or did they approach you and say, we can do this, we can do that? Mm. How did that whole team emerge? Right, so I would give book. a big shout out to the record label I'm signed to, Flip the Music, that is run. Yeah, <laughs> that is, yeah, that is run by my manager, um, Electro Miro. He's the CEO of Flip the Music, mm. which is the label I'm signed to. And he also has people who are also on the team, strong forces, who are always making sure that I'm, I'm on my toes. Mm. Big shout out to every single one of them as well. <laughs> <laughs> yes, so <laughs> whenever I go everywhere, I say that when I started working with my manager, I got to realize that you can be so good. You can be the only one that can sing the highest note or the lowest note. But if you don't have the right person or the mm. right people behind you, you are not, and I'm saying that you are not going to move forward. Because mm. the people behind you are always going to make or make you. We have so many talented people that all they need is actually to be given to the right people. You can have someone that's so talented, but they're just in the wrong hands. And so everything is just wow. going left. And I feel like that could have happened to me mm. if I wasn't with the right person right or the right me. people. Mm. And aside the voice, there's so many things around music that people don't know in terms of your brand as an artist, your lyrics, the way you put your songs together, production, everything that you bring outside your house in front of the cameras in front of your fans is very important aside what you record i i learned so many things when i got into the music industry because there are things that the the fans or the public think they see but you actually don't mm. and so i'm very very happy and it's my wish i always pray that i'm going to stick and stay with my people like till eternity wow. Wow. And, 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 and what's fascinating me is that you're talking about the business of music. Mm. You know, it's not just an art that I know how to sing and I have a talent yes. and I have the great notes. Mm. It's the business that is behind you. Right. Okay, yeah, so you, you are talking about you and your team and how you work and how you have to watch practically everything. Mm. I want you to give me an example. You know, what's your day like? When when do you come up with some lyrics for a song? What do you do? Do you right. go, just, just, just walk me through it. Okay. With me, one thing about me is I'm very particular about production, lyrics in the songs, even when it comes to visuals, how everything is put together to actually make the fans connect. <laughs> Everybody is always on the lookout, which is very, very good. Everything that you put out is going... You know, what people don't know is people in the public eyes are actually automatic influencers, whether mm. you like it mm -hmm. or not. There's somebody, there's that one person that is looking at you and doing every single thing that you're doing. Do you get it? And so it's like, whether you like it or not, whatever you're doing, somebody is copying you. Wow. You cannot wow. tell them to wow. stop. And so you kind of also have to, to tune yourself in a way because people are now looking at you as somebody that's influencing their lives. Mm -hmm. And so... There's just so many things. Another thing too is how everybody's just involved in your business and mm. there's nothing you can do about it. Mm. You decided to bring yourself in front of the cameras. Mm. And so they will determine so and a, they will say it's anything. It's an occupational hazard. <laughs> yes. That's what you said to do. Big, this is what goes with it. Big one. It's like they are telling you, is this what you want to do? Okay, this is what you are going to go through. Are you ready mm. for that? This is getting exciting, Jackie. Mm. Let's take a short commercial break. When we come back, I want to get more into this, you yes. know, because you need that team to guide you and set you on the correct path right. and get you all the accomplishments. Yeah. But does it get to a point where you feel you are being stifled by the team? Do you wish you could have some more fear? I don't know, mm. but we're going to take a commercial break. When we come back, Jackie in the house! <laughs> Woo! We'll be right back. SM show. Hey, what? Go left, left. Come, come. Straight, straight, straight. Push up. 
Madam, I know, I know see him. You, you, you can't ask me to come back. You can't control what will happen, but you can control how you respond to what happens when it happens. Welcome to SIC Insurance. At SIC Insurance, we are always ready to come to your aid when the unfortunate happens. Call us today for your motor, accident, fire, burglary, travel insurances and more. Or visit our website or any of our branches nationwide. SIC, our promises are sacred. Season's greetings from SIC, Penny de Penny. They have this new enhanced home price insurance policy that when you insure your building, it's not only the building, if anything happens, even the contents of your building are covered. Your furniture, TV, anything inside the building can be covered. So talk to them and find out more about this enhanced home price insurance policy, okay? They also have this health policy issue if you are going through any kidney problems or heart problems, stroke, all these issues, the Home Plus Insurance Policy takes care of all of these things. So make sure you call them. 055-544-1485. 055-544-1485. Okay guys, we have two big days coming up at the Cactus Creek. Two big Christmas days. The 24th, I told you we have a candlelight dinner. Come with your friends, your family, and enjoy a wonderful, sumptuous dinner at the Cactus Creek. Only 200 Ghana CDs. That's on the 24th. On the 25th, Eman Kwan. We have an all female band. Band Eman Kwan, not those of you who are coming. Everybody is welcome to hang out with Dilla Hayes and the all female band on Christmas Day at the Cactus Creek and have a lunch buffet with that. And the lunch buffet cost 250 Ghana CDs. And for both nights, please make sure you call and reserve. And for the reservation number, please call 055-039-5007. Get that reservation. Cactus Creek. It is no longer Ghana's best kept secret. It's an open secret, so serene, so heavenly, and the meals, mm, mm, mm. just like home cooking, Cactus Creek, your soul will thank you. you are Call our WhatsApp 055-039-5007. Pulse Fitness Center, the premier... Meet the indefatigable captain. There are three things that I love doing. Number one, workout. Number two, workout. Number three, workout. Workout put mind, soul, and body together. The captain has spoken. Bright lights, yeah, they make me dizzy. Logo Liggy, I just want the Lizzy. Logo Liggy, uptown chasing for the Lizzy. Downtown, everybody busy. Logo Liggy, life be Logo Liggy. I just want the Paul's Fitness Center, yeah. East Ligon Branch, Lizzy Sports Complex, I Cotton really Street, East paper. Ligon, Accra, Ghana, 0302 519 Kumasi Branches, Officers Mess Branch, Denyame, Major Kobina Drive, Kumasi, 0541 871 602. Golden Tulip Kumasi City Branch, Rain Tree Street, 0322 492 647. Pulse, the premier destination for fitness in Ghana. Say what lie we for around town. Good news for you. If you're in Takradi and it's in Varuns, don't worry. You can pick up Azipa Essentials jacket at Rulo Unisex Boutique in Anaji, Takrade, Queen of Peace in Takofo Road. Call or WhatsApp 0544-548766. The KSM Show. We're back, we're back. And as you know, I'm hanging out with Jackie. And, and before I start talking to her, you know, I want you to take a look at the clip of her music. And this one is something that 
All of us know in what she had there. It's called something. Take a look at this. <laughs> All right. <laughs> wow, wow. That was a great one. Yes. That was a great one. What inspired this? So this song is called Something. Yeah. It's a love song, but at the same time, it's a song that you can actually dance to. There's not a very, very keen message to it, you know. It's just this. Uh, normal love songs that mm -hmm. you just listen and dance to and all that. Yes. So this, normal it's a, it's a very simple song. Yes. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Which is great because you have, you, have, you have led me to the next question, you know. Normal love song. I mean, you have a team behind you. Mm. You see, they watch your every move. They want to make sure that you're doing the right things. Do you have time to fall in love? Or do they monitor yeah. that as well? No, actually. <laughs> 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 so, um, I haven't fallen in love. But would yes. you have time to, to fall in love? That's the whole thing. Would I have time, and would the person be able to like understand, ad understand and adjust? That's like one of the things that I think we go through as I don't want to use the word artist, but as anybody that's in the public space, because it's difficult to differentiate between who actually loves you for you or who loves you because you are Jackie and I want to brag about it and all of that. So I think that's another hazard. Right now, mm. it has gone left <laughs> because <laughs> there's this fear, there's this trying to make sure it is the best. So maybe it will take some time, but mm. it doesn't mean I'm very ready to mingle. So let <laughs> let, let it out. <laughs> Tell it, but before you try and mingle with her, call me first. So. You know, you know, <laughs> you know. <laughs> <laughs> no, so I. I generally, generally, um, do you at any point, t and I know you have a great team, and when I look at in your progress, in your strides, it is evident that you have a great team that is behind you, and, and kudos to all of them. Yes. But do you in any way sometimes feel a little bit uh, stifled? Actually, I mean, your freedom can come pool, or you're cool. No, I'm very cool, but as human, yeah. as human, not even just with this particular team, if you find yourself in a space where um, things have changed, maybe if you used to do ABC, right now you cannot do all of them again, you have restrictions and all that, sometimes as a, as a human being, mm. I just feel like, oh, I wish I could just get up and then just walk alone to this place. Sometimes mm. I wish I could just take this cute picture this way, wear this, and then put it up, but... Sometimes it's just some rules that right now I've just I've just come to understand and mm. has become a part of me. It's so, a part of you now. Yeah, but yeah. you know that random thoughts once in a while you just wish you could be. But it's all good. I mean, I'm still good. <laughs> <laughs> yes, I love it. But you, you performed uh, as a global citizen. Yes. Yeah. How did you end up on that game? Because that was a huge platform. Very, very big. I'm yeah. So, I'm so thankful and I'm so proud to have graced that stage. And what that particular festival taught me was that everything that you are doing, there's always somebody that's watching and you always don't know. And so mm. anything that you put out into the public space, you need to make sure that even if you might feel, oh, there's just 20 people watching, there's just five people, and so you, you like break down or you don't have hope in it. Maybe I wouldn't expect to be performing on a big stage as global citizen because maybe I feel, oh, I need to do some more. But the people actually know the sound, know the personality, and then mm. they just know that this person is solid for the stage. Mm. And I'm very happy that what I'm building myself to become, people are seeing me as wow. such, yeah. And, and you said it's also helped to understand that people are always watching. Mm. Who gave you a call and say, we want you on this platform? Yeah. And what have you done to earn it? Yeah, right. So just as the usual communication that's done between the team and their team, there was a, a male communications with my team on wanting me to perform for the, sh um, the festival. And then, yes, it went on. We rehearsed for so many. We rehearsed for, like, so many days, back mm. to back. And then big shouts to the band, the military band that also came through. Who backed you? The military the band. The military band, yeah, okay. They gave me a very, very extravagant intro before I got on stage. Wow, show them so loud, yeah. man. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And the dancers, the MVP, then the band aside. 
everything just went as I wanted it to. And I'm so happy to have grazed such a big stage. Stage. And it, show us for that, because that was really mm. a magnificent platform that you're on. Yes. That's when I noticed, that's when I heard of you. Oh. Yeah, that's how I picked up. Say, hey, where did she come from? <laughs> so that, yes. that that is really yes. fantastic. Yeah, that's really fantastic. Now you you've hit this platform. Your Apple Music, you've got the attention. Yeah. You have some stuff on YouTube that has how many millions of views? Millions of millions. Seven million plus. Mm. Wow! <laughs> Show some love, man. <laughs> you know how much I celebrate when I do something that gets me like ten k. <laughs> yeah! <laughs> Is it 7 million? How did you do it? Yeah. But that's amazing. How do you feel about all of this now? What does that make you feel as a person? Yeah, I, the best thing I would say is I'm happy. Like I wake up in the morning and I'm just so happy because I've still not done more than enough. Mm -hmm. But the little that I've been able to do, I just feel like I've made a lot of people proud of me. People that, especially people that knew me from Love is Pretty till now. And then people that even come to see me up front and also knowing, oh, she's from Ghana, she's from Kumasi, mm -hmm. she's a young female. Every time somebody is also proud of me, I'm just, it just makes me happy that all these people were, were, didn't get disappointed mm -hmm. when they actually believed in me. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But that's tremendous too. Mm -hmm. It's not just all these people, all these billions of people. Mm -hmm. Wow, that yeah. is fantastic. What is the relationship with you and your father? You know, one awesome musician, yeah. and he has a daughter now who is also making it internationally, left, mm -hmm. right, and center. Are you guys thinking of doing something one of these is what is what is yeah. the dialogue like right my dad and i actually have a song together. we have a song yeah we have a song we're just looking at when we want to drop it or when it will oh, come out oh yeah. fantastic <laughs> <That's a> <laughs> <man>. <laughs> yeah. uh, is it is something he wrote and asked you to or you wrote the song tell me a little bit yeah, about this we, song that you have with yeah your dad. we did it together Oh, you did, did it together? We did it together. And one thing everybody knows is my dad is a very good writer. Till date, he still writes songs on, like, he, on papers. Like, wow. he doesn't do the whole... The old-fashioned way. Yeah, he doesn't do the whole phone writing. No, no, no. Still, so he has a <laughs> lot of papers. Yeah, so now he still does that. So he wrote a verse, I wrote mine. There's some parts to it that he would, as a proper African father, would tell you, uh-uh. I don't like this one. Put this one here. Put this here. And I was like, wow. It's about to be a long one here. Yeah. Because he always wants everything perfect. Sometimes when I even perform, and he actually, he he goes back to see all those videos. Mm -hmm. And then he will call me, a Echapuma, next time, Okwa, don't do this one like this. No, wow. that's not how you have to be on stage. Do it this way. Sing this key like that. So he, he also like sees from afar and then he calls me and corrects me wow. and all of that. He's he's very proud and he's a fan. Fantastic, fantastic. You know what I'd like to see in the very near future? You and him on this show. Oh, <laughs> yeah, that would be so Honestly, fire. I'm a fan of his yeah. and I'm a fan of the daughter mm, and so it would be great. Yeah. That would be so fun. Okay, I'm sure I Hannah will be talking to you I guys and very soon we're going to get you guys mm. here. What's your next plan? You know, you you are now getting really hot in the music arena. Mm. What, what, what are the plans? What are you thinking of as your next step or steps? Yeah, right. So after I dropped my second EP, which is this recent one, my diary, um, the next thing, I've, I've already performed so many shows and I mm -hmm. have some more that is also coming up. I've just been in the studios recording a lot of songs as well. And so look forward to a lot more songs from Jackie, a lot of videos, content, and you'll be seeing more of me, more of more of Jackie, and hopefully bigger things. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Jackie, what, 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 what frustrates you? I mean, what, anything that worries you in terms of your career path and when you're going, where are you going now? Mm. Anything? Um, I should say I always have this fear of not doing better than the previous mm. like if it's song content mm. anything that i do it doesn't my next step doesn't have to be bigger than the previous one but if it's not going to be bigger it has to be better so anytime that i have to bring anything out i'm always 
cautious and and I'm scared that I hope this doesn't mm, flop mm. or it doesn't get the recognition that it deserves and so anytime especially with recording songs i'm very particular about anything that i record in the studio and i bring out mm. so i'm just mm. i'm just cautious on not failing in any aspect of anything i do well well as a performer backstage when they're getting ready to go on stage what's the feeling like do you ever get nervous and think huge and this crowd did they Oh, you're always ready. It's like, bring, the, bring it on. Yes. What do you go through before you go on stage? Okay, so uh, just a short scenario. Most of the time, before I go on stage, maybe I'm moving on to, into the venue and then to go back. So I always have this hype energy. I'm excited. I'm like, I'm about to kill it again. Yeah. Until they hand the mic over to me. <laughs> and then you can hear the MC say, are you ready for the song there? And then that's when the nerves... Wow. will start shouting wow. at me like mm, you thought you were you were okay i'm here <laughs> that's when i start getting, so at that point yes i start getting nervous most of the time i don't even want like a lot of people to be around me because mm. my mind just wants to be focused on what i'm going to do on stage and then when i climb the stage and i see my beautiful fans that is when everything just like now with see i can see it <laughs> it's like you're so happy yeah. when you hear people shouting your name singing along with the songs oh, it's a wow. very great wow, feeling wow so once you get on the stage and you realize that you have them in your palm yeah then you're relaxed and so like when you see artists maybe outside when you see artists like in front of big crowds or even in front of any crowd and you can see them like overhyped please just allow them because that excitement of seeing people sing back what you created for mm -hmm, them, it's mm -hmm. a very, it's a very nice feeling. Wow. It's a very, very, wow. you know what I want to just give you some small fans about your clothing or your face, how it is. Imagine like so many people singing your songs, yeah. getting happy to see yeah. you. It's so nice. Wow. Show some love, man. <laughs> it's got show business. Yes. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Do you remember any crowd that you had and you said, Charlie, after this crowd there, I always want them to be like this. Oh, you constantly get great crowds. Yeah, so uh, Global Citizen is one. Was one and yeah. then I had a show in Liberia um, last year, December. That was my first time in Liberia. That is somewhere that, I mean, some people would know my songs, but the kind of crowd that I went to perform and... I didn't just perform my famous forever. Mm. I mm -hmm. performed my other songs mm -hmm. and these people were actually singing word for word. And I was they like, were singing word for word. The crowd was very energetic. I really enjoyed it. Wow. And then every year too, I do a concert live experience with Jackie all the time. The turnout is big, big mm -hmm. time. Yes. Mm -hmm. What's what's happening this season? How how booked are you? Are you like anything yes. that we should know about so we yeah, right. I mean, it's quite packed up. I'm just a little here and there. I've done, I've performed a couple already and there's still a couple more. So I'm just praying for strength and then mm -hmm. energy to give more fire to, more to fire. everybody. Yes. What do you catch on? How is the, the cash flow like? The l'argent. I mean, I'm, the one I'm one person that I really love money. You love money? Yeah. So just a love money. <laughs> Yeah. So your team is making sure that the joint is flowing. They need to make sure. They are making sure. They are making sure. <laughs> Show some yeah. love to the team, man. <laughs> yeah, they are making sure of that because, I mean, yeah. aside everything, uh, the artist also has, like, you know, mm -hmm. people, they have a life and all of that. So I, I'm, I'm always very happy when, like, I see that some small agent is coming mm -hmm. in and then, mm -hmm. you know, it's, it's good. Mm. <laughs> this is some small agent and I say, boom. Big time. So small, <laughs> <laughs> wow, wow, wow. And, and I, I want you to talk to young artists up and coming mm. who love Jackie. Yeah, the one that they want to be like Jackie. Like you're saying, you have several people, you are role model for plenty young ones out yeah. there. What word do you have for them? one thing that i would say to any young person that either looks up to me or just wants to get into any corporate space or in the entertainment industry is you just have to be consistent that is the consistent whole, that is the whole power behind being relevant 
in whatever space you find mm, yourself in. Mm. So if you're starting in a particular lane and you know that was what caught people's attention to you, you don't have to change from that. Stick to the and you lane. need to make sure that you keep getting better every time. So consistency is always the best thing to mm. achieving greatness. Mm. And also not giving up. Giving mm. up is I feel like people just say it too much, so people don't understand how yeah, deep it is. Yeah. But to be very honest, do not give up. Don't give do up. Especially Listen, with yeah, how competitive ahead. this generation is, everybody is just, everything is moving fast. Yeah. And so if you are not smart, if you are not swift, if you are not careful, you will actually, like, lose. Mm. So, yeah. Mm. So the key thing is consistency. Be consistent. Sticking to what you do best and build on that. Yes. Wow. 100 percent well when you started uh, before you became this big what was the lane that you were on that you stuck with i wasn't doing the normal um songs that you hear i was actually focusing more on soul music mm. like more of mm. the songs that you know just to calm you down and i'm still doing that it's just once in a while i just record some dance music but i always like to be tagged as a soul artist and so the genre I do is called Afrofusion. Mm, Afrofusion. So, yes. So I'm okay. able to do reggae, hip hop, gospel, everything. But my major is actually soul music. So yeah, yeah. I've heard some of your stuff, mm. and I agree yes. that yeah, fantastic. <laughs> and by the way, your team is here, so I'll put it. Uh, I'll make the appeal why they are here. You know, we have a space back here at Cactus Creek, mm -hmm. and it will be perfect for a performance from you. When. So, when? Oh, I like that. Just a lot, right? <laughs> I like that. So, Hannah will be calling you, and okay. I'm sure she will talk to your team, and we'll arrange when very soon. Yes, for so sure. So, we have Jackie at Cactus, man. <laughs> so, stick around, folks. Very yes, soon. Very, very soon. Yeah. Oh, we'll, I like we'll that. Shake up the place. Yeah. Fantastic. Fantastic. <laughs> Jackie, it's great having this chat with you um i need to actually say this i'm very 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 honored to be seated here oh. right in front of you it's an honor i had so many questions but <laughs> the next interview because i should have written them down oh you wanted to ask questions <laughs> yes but i mean we can always talk back to you but i just have to say i'm very honored to be seated here and the fact that you actually enjoy my music that's like price up for jackie <laughs> my price <laughs> My price just went up. Yesterday's price is not today's price. <laughs> yeah. No, I do. I, I love your music, you, you know. So much. And I'm very, very impressed too with your accomplishments. Mm. And I and I, I'm even liking a bit I listening to you talking about consistency yes. and sticking with what you know best yes. and the perseverance. Right. You're saying all the right things mm -hmm. and I'm actually overly impressed with you. Yeah. Keep it up, man. Thank you. So love one more time. <laughs> oh wow. So thank you very, very much for... Thank you so much for having me to... This place is a very beautiful place. Oh. Trust me. The Greens is... <laughs> what else can I say? Uh, what else can I say? <laughs> yeah. What else can I say? Except very, very soon, I'm going to get here to perform here, man. So stick around. It will depend on the legend that your, 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 team, your team will charge me on. I see the, what's the name of that lady? Gemma. Hey, Gemma of Hermes House. Hey, yeah. with the bra. <laughs> with the move from me. <laughs> but Gemma will be calling you anyway. <laughs> so thank you so much. It's thank been you, so much fun having you. Likewise. And I want you to know that we, I have a lot of respect for you. And I'm glad that you have a team. And even listening to you all the way through it, it's like, you recognize that you are where you are because you have a strong team yes. behind you. Yes. And that in itself shows, speaks volumes about you. Mm. So congratulations. Thank you so Keep up much. the good work. Thank you. So yeah. Much. And very soon, we have a performing here. Yes. Yes. The dates and, will come and, out. And that's just before one day, Baba Baba Hano. We are waiting <laughs> for them. <laughs> and OK, just a minute, before you leave us, you know, this is the festive season, mm -hmm. and I'd love to hear something from you. Okay. Yeah? Um, all right, let me sing this one. Yeah, mama fish a po. Yeah, mama fish a po. I fear to ya to ya to ya ye dee. That's my favorite. That's my favorite. <laughs>
So of course, on that note, we wish you all a very, very, very Merry Christmas. Now the year is over. <laughs> oh, let me take this opportunity to say a few things. Number one, I want to thank all of you, man. Yes. And, and I say this all the time, without you, there is no KSM. You have made this program numero uno. Mitamwasi. All right. <laughs> So all you viewers out there, be very, very proud of yourselves because you are part of the success story. You are the main part of the, of the success story of the KSM show. I also like to thank all those who have been proudly associated with the show, all the sponsors who came in to be associated with the KSM show throughout the whole year. Thank you very much. And on that note, folks, we are getting into next year, 2023. It's going to be hot. The business is going to be heating up. So if you want to be associated with the show and you need more airtime, send a WhatsApp message to 024-766-1983. Give us the name of your company and we'll get right back to you and we'll make sure you have the best airtime ever. All right? 024-766-1983. Now, finally, I've had a great time being with all of you and... The only thing I can say for this Christmas, getting to next year, just love your neighbor as yourself. Everything is going to be fine. And now, until I come back with you in 2023, KSM signing off as I've always done in the same words I've always used. And I want to hear even the president and the vice and everybody in there, wherever they are, joining me to say, we are out of here.